So students, let's start with a new problem where on a simply supported beam there is a uniformly varying load given and intensity of that UVL is 6 kN per meter. Now in this case, so first we need to find out support reaction which is at A and B. So how we can find out that by taking equilibrium equation. So first let's apply equilibrium equation which is summation Fy0. So after applying this we will get Ra plus Rb is equal to total downward UVL load and total downward U will load will be calculated by calculation of the area of this triangle. Now how we can get the area of this triangle by first having the perpendicular. So this we can see this is a U will intensity 6 kN per meter. So after 9 meter this intensity will become 54 kN per meter. Now we can get the area of this triangle which is 1 by 2 54 into 9. So by this way total U will load will be 243 kN. After that let's apply another equilibrium equation which is summation mb0. So by applying summation mb0 we can get r into 9 so r is here multiply by 9 minus the moment of this total uvl and this will be equal to the total uvl load multiply by the distance of uvl cg from perpendicular which will be 1 by 3 of its base so it will be 9 by 3. So this is how we can calculate RA and RB. So by this equation we will get RA is equal to 81 kN and RB is equal to 162 kN. So let's start with now making shear force diagram. So in shear force diagram again we will have to start with the left end which is A end. So first we need to go upside as RA direction is upside. So we will move by 81 kN in upward direction. After that now we can see from A to B there is no there is only UVL loads and that total UVL load is 243. So while moving from A to B we need to move down by 243. So when we will subtract 243 from 81 so we will get 162. So at B point we will reach is to 163 sorry minus 162 kN. Now the question is how you will join the A and B point. So this will join by a parabolic curve. So keep remember under UVL load shear force diagram will be parabolic in nature that will prove later. Now after that after reaching to the this point now RB is in upward direction and we need to move by a 162 kN. So we will move to 162 and again we will reach to 0. So this is how we can make shear force diagram under a UVL load. Now we can prove here why this shear force diagram will be parabolic in nature. Now you can see Let's find out a shear force equation at section xx because here shear force has changed its sign while coming from A to B. So, so this we need to find out because at this point we will get the maximum bending moment. So for that what we can do? So let's take a section of x distance from A. Now at this section we can find out the shear force equation. So this is a shear force equation at this section xx will be equal to what? So we will have to take left word forces algebraic sum. So there is Ra so plus Ra which because it is upward then minus. Now minus this total UVL load which is on the left side of the section. So how we can find out that? So it will be one by again finding the area of this triangle which is on the left side of the section. So that will be one by two into base which is x and perpendicular. So after x distance the intensity will be 6x. So this is how we can find out the shear force equation and you can see this shear force equation is parabolic in nature and that's the reason we draw parabolic curve in shear force diagram under UVL case. Now we need to find out where shear force has changed its sign after becoming 0. So what we will do? We will put this equation equal to 0 and find out the value of x. After doing that we will get x value over here which is coming 5.19 meter. So that means from A at distance of 5.19 meter we will get the maximum bending moment. Now let's start calculating the bending moment at each and every point. Now in this case bending moment at A. So bending moment at A will be 0 because there is no leftward force on the side of A. Now next is bending moment at B. So we can find out bending moment at B by this equation. This we have already used while finding out the reaction. So next is to find out the bending moment which is maximum and which is at this point. So how we can find out this maximum bending moment? So first we will do what? 
will find out a bending moment equation at a section xx so we'll take a section at a distance of x and we'll find out the bending moment equation and then bending moment equation at a distance of x will be equal to what so this will be plus ra into x which is the moment of this ra next is we need to find out the moment of this portion uvl so how we can find out which will be minus 1 by 2 into 6x which will be the perpendicular at a distance of x multiply by x which is the base this is the total load on the left side of the section now multiply by x by 3 so this will be the bending moment equation at section xx which is at a distance of x meter from left hand now what we need to do for finding out the maximum bending moment just we need to put the x value which we got 5.19 meter in this equation so when we put 5.19 so we'll get maximum bending moment and what we'll do so we'll mark here maximum bending moment now the question arises how we need to join so which property will be there for the curve to join these three points so we can see while we have calculated the bending moment equation there and this bending moment equation is cubic in nature so bending moment curve under UL will be cubic in nature so we'll mark this point bending moment at A bending moment at B and maximum bending moment then we'll join by a cubic curve so this is how we can draw the bending moment and shear force diagram for the case where UL is mentioned thank you very much